The first four missions of Halo Infinite's campaign have been revealed and to glowing review. We have a preview of the fracture event happening next week in Halo Infinite and has the XP update for Halo Infinite's progression been an improvement? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here. Welcome to the channel that keeps you updated with everything going on in Halo. There's a bunch of little news stories here throughout the last few days of Halo that I wanted to cover in this video, including Halo Infinite's first game update that just went live today. So if you like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. It really helps out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the official release of Halo Infinite in just a few weeks, well, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. The first four missions of Halo Infinite's campaign have been revealed to various content creators. Sadly enough, I was not one of the chosen few to have the opportunity to play Halo Infinite's campaign early. I'm sure you'll see there's a lot in your feed that content creators have had the opportunity to play the first four missions of the campaign and post the videos on their channel, but they have to do it with commentary and no spoilers that we were given specific directions of what they could and could not show so you can watch these videos without any major spoilers happening of course if you want to go into the campaign completely blind i would suggest not watching these videos but most of it's gameplay some of it are in-game kind of cutscene stuff nothing too revealing or anything that I would consider an actual spoiler. But if you're really hungry for Halo Infinite campaign gameplay, check out some of these videos. They're very well done and a, definitely a fun time to watch. I've watched videos from Halo content creators and just general gaming media as well. And literally everyone has said that the year long wait has been worth it. And Halo Infinite's campaign is open, expansive, new, fresh, yet familiar, and overall just a really great experience. It's also reassuring that 343 has just given them the opportunity to play the first four missions of the game. These aren't like specific type of moments that you can play that are specific builds or something like that of the campaign. They just gave them the first four missions, they let them cut up 15 minutes of gameplay, have to do commentary over it, and then provide their thoughts. This isn't like what we saw with like Cyberpunk, right? Where they had very specific encounters for their preview press game capture sessions. And so this is also very reassuring as well that Halo Infinite's got a release in a good functional form and it's gonna be, well, a great time to play. Next on the list here, 343 posted up a preview of our first Fracture event called Tenray. This is our opportunity to earn the Yoroi armor set here, guys. This will go live on Monday, November 22nd, and last throughout the week. It will include a free 30-tier event pass as well. I'm assuming that the Yoroi armor core will be one of the first things you unlock, much like we had with the Mark V B for Season 1 of Heroes of Reach. But it looks like this event will be bringing some new game modes as well. It's not just customization stuff. In a response from a fan I'm talking about how some game modes are not present within Halo Infinite right now, Community Director Brian Gerard, aka Sketch, mentions more modes are definitely coming, starting with the first event, Fracture Tenray, which kicks off next week. This could be the mode Attrition that we saw in the gameplay trailer, guys, when it came to the reveal of the release of the multiplayer beta for Halo Infinite. As we saw that game mode in the trailer, but it's not been in the game for the first week, so I would assume this will be the special new game mode coming in, but if anything else comes in, I'll let you guys know on this channel. And today we had Baby's first update for Halo Infinite, guys. We had a gameplay update, just a minor one, but it has a significant change to the gameplay of Halo Infinite. The issues that were resolved today were one where halo credits purchased outside of steam for example the microsoft store are now reflected when playing halo infinite on steam the second one is oddball rounds now have a five minute timer in matchmaking which has extended the matchmaking timer there stability improvements to big team battle matches and various service related improvements for the microsoft store and xbox app guys that's a 750 megabyte update for the consoles it's 710 and for steam it's a measly 130 megabyte update so next I want to talk about my first impressions with playing Halo Infinite with this new XP update. We streamed a bunch last night on our Twitch channel, guys. If you want to catch us live, we do go live every Tuesday and Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope to see you guys there. Link in the description of this video down below. And from my initial experience that 
the XP changes are actually a huge improvement. Where last night I gained nearly as many levels as I have in the previous two or three play sessions that I've had. So XP gains are much more plentiful now with this recent update where it took me like, yeah, two or three play sessions of like three to four hours each time to go from zero to seven on the battle pass tier. Last night we went from seven and got into level 13. The big difference being that now we have per match XP with the 50 XP allotted to players for each match, which actually looks to be detrimental to players experience, but we'll get into that a little bit later in this video. They also changed up the weekly challenges, so they are less like niche and a little bit more obtainable kind of moments. And double XP is now an hour long instead of 30 minutes. I was also focusing a lot more on my challenges this time around rather than just playing the game. Previously, I was playing on stream, just getting the BTP lobbies because multiple people want to jump in and play some games with us. But BTP really isn't a good way to grind out XP if you want to get your ranks going. But BTP is really probably the worst way to go about earning progress in your battle pass. Because no matter what, you're still earning the same amount of XP, but if you're playing BTP, those games can last up to 15 minutes long, where for 4v4 arena stuff, about 7 minutes generally. But guys, we were focusing on playing bot mode, and guys, bot mode is the way to go if you're grinding out some XP. The matches are way shorter because you're playing against marine level bots, so like XP game per game comes by super fast, as well as if, if there's any challenge that's not tied to a PvP specific mode, you can accomplish those in bot mode. Like if the challenge is get five kills with a commando and that's all it is, do it in bot mode, get those five kills, you earn that challenge and also get to complete the match a lot faster. Though there are some specific BTP challenges, there are some specific PVP challenges as well, but if you can, play bot mode guys. It makes a huge difference with your XP gains. But remember how I said that the new daily challenge system might be actually a little bit more detrimental than positive for your XP gains? Well. Here's why. Let's take a quick look at what I'm talking about here. So someone on Reddit put together this spreadsheet here and brings up some very interesting points here. So on the left side here is the old system of how you were gaining XP, where it would be like your first three matches and you had to play two matches, then play three matches, four, then five matches to gain XP. Where now it's just 50 XP per match. But the thing is, you actually won't see that overall bonus when it comes to gaining XP until later in your play session where the user here color coded out exactly when it's better, when it's even, or when it's worse actually with the new system. And for the most part, the older system actually did grant you more XP, at least up until your 17th game. That's when you start seeing a mix of when it's kind of breaking about even for the most part. But then after your 24th game where it's even there, the new system is better. But the thing is, playing 24 games in one session is a lot of gaming. Roughly, if each match lasts about seven minutes, which is kind of a typical time frame for a Halo match, if you're for Arena at least, for pure game time, it would take you nearly three hours of game time to get to 24 games for a rough point of reference. After 33 games, honestly, the new system isn't that much better anyways, where it grants you 1,650 XP, where the old one would have given you 1,500 XP by your 33rd game. Though there is a bit of context needed for that raw number right there. Guess what? Yes, that side by side comparison you're like well the old system wasn't really that much better if anything it was actually better for your casual players out there but you also have to take in consideration that the weekly challenges have become a little bit easier to obtain i was certainly noticing that as well and i think this new per match xp just feels better as well where it can feel a bit of a drag where you possibly play four games in a row and you don't gain any xp you feel like you wasted your time and on the fifth game is when you finally get your daily points for xp also extend Sending out per XP usage to an hour instead of 30 minutes is very huge as well. You want to take advantage of your double XP if you have those guys. So there are some external factors of why the new system feels better compared to the older system. This is a minor change. It's subject to change as well. There will be changes most likely in the future coming for the progression, but right now, it does feel a lot better. So if you're new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.